So now we will write a JavaScript program in order to print the pyramid star pattern in JavaScript. So guys, let us move to VS code over here and simply we are going to print this kind of pyramid star pattern on the VS code terminal by using the JavaScript program. So guys over here under the programs folder, let me just create a new file in this case. So as you can see, we have this pyramid star pattern dot JS file over here. Now guys, you can simply create this particular pyramid star pattern by simply using the for loop in this case so first of all let us define the variable that is number of rows so guys over here for simplicity we are going to take five number of rows over here and in every row we are going to print these star characters and that will help us in order to create this particular pyramid star pattern so guys over here let me just provide the number five for the rows variable and then guys simply we can use the main for loop in this case so we have the iterator that is i over here it will go from one up to the number of rows so i less than or equal to rows in this case and then we have i plus plus over here so guys basically this is the iterator that is i which is responsible in order to print individual rows over here inside which we have to provide the star characters as well now guys inside the main for loop we need to provide two for loops over here the first for loop will be responsible in order to print these space characters so as you can see we have this one two three and four space characters over here after which we have this particular star character so guys first of all let us print these space characters based on the value of i and the number of rows as well so inside the main for loop we will have another for loop over here and for this for loop we are going to use the iterator as j this time so j will go from one up to how many space characters we want for the first line it is four space characters over here so guys how can we go from one up to four over here by using the rows and the i iterator so simply we will provide j is less than or equal to number of rows over here so what is the value of rows it is five right now so we need to do minus one in this case so that we get the number as four that is five minus one will be four over here so j will go from one up to four in this case for the first iteration now guys in the second iteration we want three number of space characters over here as you can see since the star characters has increased now in the second row that is two star characters we have before which we have only three space characters so guys basically as the i value increases we need to decrease this particular condition that is j will go from one up to four in the first row but in the second row j should go from one up to three over here in order to print the three space characters so guys over here after rows minus one we need to do minus i as well so that with the increase in the value of i the condition that is j is less than or equal to this particular expression this number will decrease with each iteration and then guys after this we will have j plus plus over here so guys in the first iteration since i value is one over here so rows minus one will give us the number that is four in this case minus one will give us the number as 3 over here so guys basically j will go from 1 up to 3 in the first iteration but we want to go from 1 up to 4 over here since we need 4 space characters so instead of starting from 1 let us start with 0 in this case so that we get the 4 space characters over here so guys after this we are going to provide the variable that is str inside which we are going to store these space characters and the star characters as well so during each iteration we want to provide the empty string initially and then guys we need to add the space characters and the star characters to this str variable so str plus it is equal to first of all we want the space characters so as you can see we are just appending the space character to the star variable over here just by using the plus equal to operator this is nothing but str it is equal to str plus the space character over here and this is the expression that is getting executed and this space character will be added to the string variable in this case now guys after we have executed this for loop we need to also print the star character over here so simply we will have another for loop 
just to print the star characters as well so guys over here once again we will start with j it is equal to 0 and then j will go up to the value of i so guys over here we will say j is less than i in this case so during the first iteration the j value will be 0 so is j less than 1 in this case since the value of i in the first iteration is 1 so yes this condition will satisfy and one star character should get printed over here so guys j will go from 0 up to 1 which means only only once this particular for loop will be executed for the first iteration and then we have the j plus plus which will help us in order to increment the value of j now guys after this simply we need to append the star character to the str variable so instead of having the space character we will first of all have the star character and then guys for the second row third row and the other rows as well we want to separate all the star characters with the help of the space character so after providing the star character over here we provide the space character so that we can read the pattern properly over here and this is the way that it should get displayed so guys over here this is the code that we have written in order to provide the space characters first of all followed by the star characters over here just by using the i and the j iterators and the number of rows in this case now guys after this we have to print the string variable as well line by line so guys over here simply we will provide the console.log statement and then we have the str variable over here that is responsible in order to print each row one at a time based on the number of rows that we have provided over here and the iterator that we have defined that is i in this case in the main for loop so guys let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal so first of all let us go inside the programs folder and then using the node command we will run this javascript file that is pyramid star pattern dot js file so guys when we press enter as you can see we have got the star pattern over here so this is the pyramid star pattern so first of all the space characters are getting printed followed by the star characters in the first row in this case followed by the second row in which case the space characters have decreased and the star characters have increased over here so guys this is a very simple way in order to print this pyramid star pattern you can print any star pattern based on your project requirements it only depends on how you use the for loop and the iterator inside those for loops now guys let us check another example as well so let us say we provide the number of rows as seven so let us see how the pyramid star pattern will look like so when we run this code once again as you can see we now have the seven number of rows over here and this is the way that the pyramid star pattern is getting printed in this case so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about how to sort numbers using bubble sort algorithm so stay tuned